Hi there, welcome to another assembly. We're working our way through Lent and we're hearing about all the stories to do with Jesus, of course, in those last weeks of his life. Now, I must tell you something. The other day I went shopping and I got very cross. I'll tell you why. It wasn't so much the shopping itself. It was the fact that I'd gone to the supermarket and uh, I left my car in the car park, as people do. And then I came out and I noticed that the back of my car had got a big dent in it. Somebody had driven into my car, left a dent and then driven off without leaving a note to say, very sorry, here's my phone number, let's sort this out, or pay for the damage, blah, 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 and all the rest. So I was really cross. And you know, I spent the entire day brooding on it, like you do. You know, we all think about things, don't we, when we feel that we've been hard done by, you know, when things have not gone our way, and we think about it, and it plays on our minds and gets us really, really cross. And I realised, in fact, that at the end of the day there was nothing I could do about it. The person who had driven into my car and dented it had gone away and there was nothing I could do about that so I thought well I might as well just just pay for the, the damage and get my car sorted out which is what I've done. Getting angry is something that we all do isn't it? We all do sometimes we get cross about things that happen you know, when people don't play the games that we want to play or to do things our way, or where we feel that things aren't worked out in the way that we would like them. And that's a great shame, you know, that we get angry, but it's a very natural thing. And when we get angry, well, angry is one thing, but it's what we do about it, which is another. You know, Jesus got angry. You might not think that he did, but he did. And Jesus got very, very cross, especially with people who weren't doing things the right way. Sometimes he got cross with his disciples. He used to tell them off and really have a go at them. And sometimes he would have a go at them and tell them off to teach them a lesson. Not because he was grumpy or in a bad mood or something like that. He would want to tell them where they were going wrong so that they would think about what they'd done or what they were talking about, and then see things in a very different way. One day, Jesus went into the temple in Jerusalem, and the temple was a huge place where people came to pray and to say thank you to God for things that they'd received, or to say sorry to God for when they'd done things wrong. And some of the things they used to do when they went there was to offer what was called a sacrifice. And um, the sacrifice would be usually of an animal that they bought in the temple and then that animal would be sacrificed. And of course, that they would have to pay for that. So that was what they would do. We don't do that kind of thing anymore. I'm very pleased to say uh, I wouldn't want to be sacrificing animals in church anyway. So Jesus went into the temple and he saw that it wasn't so much the fact that people were doing the sacrificing bit that he thought was wrong, but rather that everyone seemed to be making money out of it, you know? And there were tables where people had collected in money from those that bought things, and it was piled up with cash. You know, there were coins and things like that all over the place. And it got him so annoyed that people were just there to make money out of worshipping God. So he went over to the tables and he tipped them up. And you can imagine there were all these piles of money on the table. And when Jesus tipped them up, all the coins went flying up in the air. And all the people who owned the money went, ah, what are we going to do? And they're scrambling around trying to get it all back in again. And Jesus is so cross with the people who are just there to make money rather than thinking about serving God that he did what he did. And of course, everybody who was in the temple that day were really shocked. They were so angry with Jesus and they thought, what can we do to get him back? Well, that's actually something that 
we might want to do naturally is when we see that things have happened that we don't like and the things that make us cross, we think, right, I'm going to get them back. But that's not the right way. Jesus wants us, first of all, to love God and to serve him properly. But he also wants us to love each other too, to offer forgiveness where we go wrong and then to move on in a new beginning. So I hope that even if you get a bit angry today, that you will think, hmm, maybe perhaps I'm overreacting. Maybe perhaps I'm making too much of how I'm feeling. And so instead, you might want to think on that and think about how maybe you can try and stop not just how you feel in terms of being angry, but also as well how you can make things right with the person that's made you cross. And so we pray. Gracious, and loving God, there are times when we feel angry and upset and hurt. And when we feel those things, help us not to overreact, but to try to see how things are from the other person's point of view and to try to make amends so that we can live peaceably with one another. Amen. So, may your day and may your week be holy, may it be good, may it be peaceful, may it be loving, may it be forgiving. Bye for now.